So, so the other big issue, though, that, that investors and I, there's a public perception is that you get to see the flows, that you get to see information, and that even if you're not front running uh, your, uh, in, uh, your your investors, which is illegal, that that the data unto itself has value. How do you use that information? So I think there's been a number of misperceptions about the data that we receive from the retail brokerage community. In fact, a prominent U.S. senator asked us specifically about what personal identifying information do we receive from retail investors. The answer is none. We receive an order, and as the as the party that has to execute that order, what we look at at the moment of receipt is what are the various options that we have to achieve the best execution for that order. And you're exactly right. We are not permitted to trade in front of that order any execution that we can achieve in the context of the market for fulfilling that order, we must provide back to the retail investor, sometimes even with a price improvement that we add on at the moment of execution. So the big picture is this conspiracy theory that we somehow or another are like some of the big tech giants that have access to personal identifying information is just flat out false. We have a price, quantity, a limit. That's what comes to us in an order from a retail broker. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.